Probably the most important thing that you should keep in mind is uh, not to be negative about the situation you're in. Uh, and I know that's difficult, uh, but you have to keep reminding yourself uh, why you're in it, right? You're in it because uh, you want to get a job, secure a future, and and progress, right? Among all the other side benefits that come from it. It's very easy to double second guess, uh, wonder about whether you're qualified, and a whole bunch of other things that come with that situation. Uh, so my counsel to you would be don't do that. Uh, reach out to each other and uh, always get up in the morning and uh, look in the mirror and be proud of who you are and what you bring to the table. So the three points, first, uh, know your market, know your audience, know your target audience, who you are trying to know, who are the hiring managers. And that's number one, do some research on that. Number two is you know, know what their current needs are, what, what their pain points are. If you can really know that, it will resonate very well. Third, related to Beiju's point, what's your uniqueness? Don't, for, don't forget that even if there are some negative you know, I don't know, outcome in some cases, refine your uniqueness and stick to that story. Define that story and then keep telling people your story. It will resonate. I think when we start talking, and I've spoken to over 12 different individuals today, and the common theme is that uh, you're getting to hear similar kind of challenges and everything else. And the thing I want to point out is that you're not alone. All of those individuals that are here, none of you guys are alone. You've now got a family um, and, and a number of contacts that you can leverage on. Um, I would continue, I ask you to, to, to learn at every opportunity, embrace the change, embrace the, the guidance that the, the mentors are giving you, um, stay positive and, and good things will come in, in due course. Stay strong, stay positive. You need only one job. There are thousands of jobs there and you just need one job and that's going to come to you one day. Just be positive and somebody will get, somebody will see you and somebody will give you a job. Have trust in yourself. If you're doing things and you're not getting the outcome you want, I'm gonna say, take a step back, look at your assumptions and challenge them. You know, think about what is the principle, go to first principles and then build back up. Maybe your house, you know, has a weak foundation. So rebuild the foundation. So, it's, so I think, look at your assumptions, um, rework them, challenge them, you know, talk to people. Uh, and then rebuild your house and you might find a different outcome. In building and rebuilding that house, you uh, must be aware of your mental status in terms of uh, being able to temper your, the outcomes that you want. So, you know, uh, you may be a, a programmer and uh, <clears throat> you want to get a programming job, but you, there's none that you, you, it, none comes to you directly. You may end up being a test or a QA person. Um, I'd like to just say that you know, one of the, the, the major things, uh, we all go through some sort of mental disposition in our life because we don't get the outcomes that we want uh, e uh, immediately. So I think the biggest thing uh, that I could say to everyone uh, is that, um, you know, always temper your outcomes with, um, you know, uh, the road where you want to get to may not always be straight. Uh, it will go in different directions and you should be open enough to uh, accept some of those directions that will eventually get you to where you end up. Job search is uh, quite a bit of a self-discovery process. So you need to you need to really put a work that not always is uh, easy and you know put a mirror uh, as uh, Amir said sometimes you need to reflect and sometimes you need to kind of look at things that maybe are not. Uh, where they should be or the, where you want to have them uh, in, in your personal sort of skill set and toolkit. So it is important to, to be very honest with yourself. You will be getting a lot, a lot of advice. And I want you to be open and listen to everything. Some advice is very generic, might not sound like it's um, um, fitted for your situation. Try to find uh, seeds in, in uh, every single advice that might be helpful to you. That's that kind of discovery process that you can uh, get out of it. Uh, but then adjust it and pick and choose, customize to, to your own situation. So you are not really as a, a you know, um, 
going where the wind goes, but have a certain sense of your goals, your dreams, uh, your path, and what is suitable for you, what not. Um, uh, job search is personal, a very personal journey, but it's always uh, nicer and easier to 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 do it um, in in a context of community. So events like this or being part of groups that support job seekers are very important because you need sometimes you need somebody to tell you don't worry. You know, Anna said uh, it's probably nothing you 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 never heard before. You know, be positive. Uh, it's not easy, but you know, to you need to hear it sometimes, right? When you're going through um, uh, through tough times, applying, not getting response. So having this community of people people who are supporting you as mentor or mentors and as well other job seekers are really really good you know for that emotional support and advice so don't uh, don't try to do it all by yourself uh, rely on on mentors and network you can learn as well from other job seekers so do leverage opportunity to be part of bigger group of job seekers having mentor or mentors and really take it as a personal journey of discovery.